When history clash was first announced, it was done so to know our little interest and easy for our lock off. However, all that has changed. The history of this rivalry goes back from 1990 when we touched road because when Exorcist touched road, you know, Exorcist touched road as a war sound, uh -huh. really a party sound. Uh -huh. Dub plate style, everything, baby. Right? Mm -hmm. So, every time Exorcist and Stonewall will meet, even if it's a juggling dance, mm -hmm. at the end, it will always be a shootout. Yeah. You know? So, that rivalry yeah. started from St. John's playing in the town Saturday. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So, since then, yeah. the rivalry just continued to years and years. Yes, build into something else. Yeah. Let's build on something. You remember your first clash? Just outside of the juggling dance that turned into war dance, you remember your first actual clash that you and Stonewall book up? Uh, Island Clash. Tell me about it. Stonewall, Exorcist. Yeah. It was like, um, same concept. Yeah. Island Clash, Eastern from each constituency. Yeah. Yeah. Um, same night, I think I was in New York, came down. It was a Christmas Eve. Yeah. We were playing down um, where Underground was. Yeah. They played on Exorcist. Yeah. And the, it was like, Poison that Stonewall. And you killed them that night. That's the Poison, first time you broke up. The first, did you kill him the first night? Did you, did, you, did you kill him the first time? Yeah. First night you broke up your Stonewall? Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know if you're the only man in Antia who's not afraid of Whitney, besides myself. Like, <laughs> he has a particular thing for you. Because I saw the vengeance he came at you war um, after the war. Like, they, that, that's something personal. Like, they don't, you know, you don't have that kind of energy to where one sound man are coming after another sound man. Like that. With that, with that kind of vengeance. <clears throat> so, what, what, why you think that is? I'm just afraid me. I'm not saying me are the killer, right? Why are you afraid you're the killer? Because he know. It's not like he don't know. You know. It's like he knows. And you know, but big up Whitney, that's, that's the rivalry we had from then. So on an exorcist. Yeah. But him know to himself, if I want someone him can't go around can't and bad up. Uh, bad up or uh, take lightly his exorcist. Yes. You will say a lot of things that exorcist now have not sung exorcist, but that's just the hype. That's with me. Okay. I know that. Okay. But yeah, some people that don't know that people are like you yeah, and feed into that, but but you may, you, you may be the, the sound man in Antigua who knows better than any sound. Of course, I refer to you, Exorcist, Pison Dad, and so on as the our three dinosaurs. Uh -huh. Pison Dad being the third. So you I'm guys, you know him better probably than you know, his family does know him. <laughs> so you know him. So that's probably why he like, uh, you know, he gets... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause because the vengeance, he, he <laughs> cut, I see he bad you up just across the water, you know. Yeah, pensioners, yeah. So I see, I, I, I see, wait, wait, pension, yeah, like over there, yeah. I over there. I see he yeah. bad you up, you know. So I have to put them in place, I have to tell, you know, you know when you, you have kids, right? Yeah. And your kid, you take them to the supermarket and yeah. it's like, I want this, I want you. I feel like, give them a quick shake. Like, ba -ba -ba. No, no box. Just hold them firm and behave yourself. Yeah. So I just let him get. Behave yourself. Let me ask you, um, that particular moment, mm. when you dropped the Idonia, it, it, it's like, you know, it's like a bomb. It's a nuclear bomb that exploded, right? When you caught this tune, did you know this song, this dub play from Idonia? Didn't think the Rasta Cola was going to hit like it hit? Let me tell you about that song, you know. Big up Wildlord, my brother. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wildlord, my brother. Yeah. For life. Brother, brother. Yeah. And you see, for my birthday, Wildlord said, boy, I got to cut one song for you. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. And you see when you hear that song? I said, Jaja. Well, a lot of people know that song they played at Stonewall anniversary. Mm -hmm. Right? They didn't, they didn't catch on then? They didn't catch on then. But the perfect moment was the night when they believed, say, and I'm going to go and say, oh, you think, say, I want to all this talk you make punches. I said, all right. You feel the rest to cool up. Perfect tune, perfect time. Timing. Time is important. Time is key. But then here you know. In the morning when I reach home, yeah. I'm gonna see I don't have some pass. Yes. That was like when different I'm like, yo. You see it? It's like an energy. It's like, like a mystic judge. kind of thing. It was kind it of was mixed, like mystic, mystic, mystic mystical because, thing. You understand? Yeah. But big up Diddy. You know? It was, it was a big tune. It was a big it was a big tune. It was a big tune. Yeah, what? Like the crowd exploded and you saw the reaction, right? And, and it's like, yo, what, what, was that that moment you got your pep in your step back? Is that when you like feel like raggers again at that particular moment? No. You felt it before? Before, I'm confident. Since when? What do you mean since when? Since when? Okay, let's all right, go. All right, all right. Yes. Me as a youth, right? 
if it's not war related, uh -huh. me easy. If you find me a what to play and go and cool, go yeah. and listen stingers, go and listen yeah, yeah, yeah. G seven spies and that. Yeah. Then Antigua easy and you know? Yeah. Because at them and the youth. Okay. Pies and that. We brought pies and that to this thing. So me now go on like well eh? and so me rather enjoy watching them and doing them thing and eh? right? But now Whitney just believes that nothing now go on for exercise and then the bag of talking is just overbearing now. He's been talking for a long time. Yeah, man, long time. Long time, because I remember... Long time. A long time. You were supposed to clash 10 years ago. For some other reason, the clashing happened. 2007. What happened? Went to Jamaica and missed my flight to Mobi. Yeah. We do the taxi man, so, yo, brother, just jive. Yeah. Any ticket? Yeah. Simonia? Drive. Jive. When we reach, flight gone. Shit. Call Whitney, Whitney. Man, say, no problem, man. No this is problem. what night? This is the same night of the clash? This was... The same night, I think, no, I think it was a Friday. The Friday before, right? the class was happening on a Saturday. Yeah, I think, yeah, okay. something like that. Right? Yeah. I'm going to call him, I'm going to explain everything to the man. And the man say, yeah, yeah, surprise to hear the man up here. I said, we work this run, man. This is the Friday, because this happened on a Friday. You could still, got, there was still time for you to get to Antigua, but on a Saturday. There was no flights. There was no flights. So you're stuck in Jamaica for the weekend. Okay, you could make it. Until, uh, well, Sunday, because the dance yeah. was Saturday. Saturday could make it so, Antigua. Right? So that's how the first dance didn't happen, flight business. And I'm like, Whitney, we can do the dance the next weekend. First one. Let's, let's, right? let's go to the gate. Go to the gate. Now, go to the gate. We see you go to the gate. Now, you tell him let's do the, the dance the following week, and then what do you say? He said, no, we can't have this dance. I'm going to say, well, no problem. After them clashes, me wait. And that was 10 years? Yeah. And they never, it never happened. I heard said, during that 10 years. He said, yeah. said but I clash exorcist ever, ever, ever again in my life. But now you're clashing very shortly right behind us in this particular venue. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. With that particular clash, I heard for that clash, he went mm. and cut all the tunes, like all your anthems. And we know Clash is all about anthems. And we know Exorcists have anthems. And mm. because the only sound that ever have a dance in Antigua lock off on a juggling session in Shantytown where Bobby Lance dance done. It happened mm. recently, but that was a clash. So that's yeah. the same man that did that. I heard he went and cut all your anthems ready for you to counteract all your tunes from there. Mm. And then I also heard, because, you know, the streets, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they tell me things, yeah. that there was an incident, you went around, mm -hmm. and the dub box was in the car at uh, Shantytown, and the dub box law stolen, yeah, whatever. Some, some, stolen, some yeah, malfeasance yeah. went on, and the yeah, exorcists yeah. lost their dub box, so hence not, lost not, a lot of their yeah, anthems. Yeah, yeah. One of the best periods for Soundclash ever might have been during COVID lockdowns, when a lot of dub boxes got dusted off. It, the vibe pandemic, the vibe come around again, and we all were home and we were all bored for a very long time, right? Mm -hmm. This idea for this clash to come. Before the COVID, 2019, mm -hmm. it was supposed to happen because I was down here and, you know, it was a clash between cannabis and emperor. Yeah. And right after the clash, they were supposed to be the same business. Yeah. A clash out of one tune, one tune to get some hype for the clash yeah, you're yeah. going to do then, but COVID came and never happened. Yeah. So it postponed again. Mm -hmm. But then I remember seeing you and I didn't see the confidence that I saw. I didn't see the confidence that I saw 2019 when you come up the tune. I didn't see this, that same confidence that I saw across the water here not too long ago. This is no regular sound clash. This is Stonewall versus Exorcist. 30 years of history and rivalry and the streets are talking. Cross the stump, cross the run dance, you know. Well, you know, you know, in the sound clash industry right now, you hear? A lot of people don't understand what Sound Clash is about, brother. Mm -hmm. See? And Antigua, as the Clash capital plantation, you see there? Raga, mm -hmm. raga, Stonewall. I'm going to create this history in the making. What's so special about this place? Right behind Got a lot right? of sound down there, you know, so. Another word buzzing in Dandy is silence. That's what's been coming out of the boomboxes of Stonewall lately. For the violence is done with the chattings. Because we all know with the aggressive. And they're kind of cool and. And when you answer that, we think, we think, we think Whitney poked the bear one too many times. I think, you know, they say, but well, he poked the lion. He poked the lion one too many times, and he really may have just woken the beast up in you. Is that true? You agree? It was like, war mode. You don't say what you had to say. Okay. War yeah. mode. I don't Remember war is on, right? Yeah. I told him, you can go and play the, the, your big song them. Yeah. And I'm going to use a, um, a hundred and fifty dollar song. Yeah. And get a bigger forward. So this is what this is dance is about. That, that, this dance that, is about cheap that was, real music, not big tune, a big right. money tune. Hold, hold a step, hold a step, hold a step. You, you, you counter him with the donny. I think the donny, like, you know, that, that, that. 
The Donia, I think, caught them. Was like, what was that? <laughs> oh no, that can't be Donia. That's, that's some fake. Yeah, like, you gotta yeah, take yeah. the sting of the forward. Yeah, like, uh, you gotta take the sting. Yeah. You gotta take a sting of the forward. But then, like, you know, then when we come down now to the last song, last song business, right? Mm. You weren't, you, your selector wasn't letting have the tune quick enough. So he said he got paid for your last song and he rushed the thing. And mm. when he paid for your last song, your last song was the Dennis Brown. Mm. And when he dropped the Dennis Brown, if you listen to the audio, he sounded defeated when he like, oh, you went Dennis Brown. Because remember now, he ain't got no more tune. Well, the, that, the, the, the thing over now. The thing what happened the night, right? Yeah. You know, computer, yeah. laptop freeze. Yeah. And that's what happened. So he saw the laptop freeze. He was like, oh, you can't find a tune? And, and then, you, you, you check. and then that's when he rushed that's the thing. That's when he rushed the thing. So and last he life, and I'm really, really yeah, more yeah, last he life yeah. before the class start. Ooh, this is the spot. This is this is this is history. This is really history. This is not only history, sound clash history, raggers. This is this is we're in plantation. This is the burial ground from former slaves. You know, our walks Indian. This is a burial ground. This is a we are in a literal cemetery. Yeah. We are in a cemetery. This is this is our ancestors like defended this 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 is this is this is a yeah, real is, actual burying ground. Yeah, we we yeah, colonial. This is this is a burying yeah. ground. This is a burying ground. <laughs> and you and Whitney gonna crash right in here. Yeah, speaking it's, it's speaking it's of selectors, let's talk selectors. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing things that selector wise, because it's always been a big question first, mm -hmm. who's gonna talk to exorcist? That mm -hmm. question has been answered. Ragas are talk for exorcist. Who's selecting for exorcist? Busy. Bezel, mm -hmm. I've come to recently understand that Bezel is your son, correct? No, 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 my nephew. Bezel is your nephew. Yeah. Pause. Is Bezel the same selector who did the war after the war for you? Oh, who was, yes, who yeah, was the, yeah, yeah. he's the same selector and he's going to be a selector yeah. for history clash with yeah. Whitney. Yeah. Same selector. Same selector. Okay, cool. You confident in him yeah. that he could pull it off? Yeah. I heard, is this the same selector that froze during quarantine clash against Three Sevens? Well, this was his first clash. That was his first clash. But that was an online clash. That was an online clash. But it's so, an online clash. So now, peep this. It's an online clash. Being your first clash and knowing it's online, you don't know who's watching you. Okay. So that played with his mind. Okay. Yo, yo, you're good, you're good, you're, you're good, right. uncle. You're good, uncle. But I'll give you that. He's confident. I'll give you that. He's confident. Maybe he's confident now. Confident. On this, this right here behind me, that's no, that's no camera. He There's no is. camera. That's no online. That's that's, that's him and maybe 1,500 people feeling of the real energy. people feeling the energy. You think he's ready for this kind of intimidation? Yeah, Remember, he's not gonna see them. Though. He's just gonna see darkness. You can see. This is darkness. He is good. You think he's confident? I know he's confident. You're confident in nephew. Are you confident in yourself? I am confident. You have the same kind of fit? You're fit? See, I'm confident. You're fit. You're fit. Yeah, are you fit? Well, let me, let me you tell, let me, are let you tell fit? You. Let, me, let me answer the question. Yes. Which song yes. in Antigua made that an anthem? Which, which song? Fit. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. It made an anthem. Okay. You're fit. You know, you know, going four rounds against Stonewall, seven. you're going seven rounds with Stonewall, there's yeah. no run drag on the beach. You've been doing more than just dragging on the beach to prepare for it. You have the stamina. I mean, don't really ask Rasta about stamina thing now. You think you have it because, you know, two minutes over there, so, and the boss Chi Chun is not 20 and 15 and 10 minute round up here. And one for one against Stonewall. We, we agree with this. Me never, me never in a microwave war. Okay, I'm just. Excess is why they always one on one. We never in a microwave war. Okay, so. that's, okay, that's, okay. You... so it's not like. It's nothing that we never did or okay. 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 like McCann. Okay, I'm about to wrap or... this up. Is this only going to be Oldie Goldie War Saturday or are we going to get some new tune? As I said, he can come and play with me once. Is this going to be Oldie Goldie want. Night in Plantation or are we going to do Oldie Goldie, Goldie, Goldie New Tune? How, how? It cannot be. Remember, there's a whole generation forwarding to see Exorcist mm -hmm. because they never saw Exorcist. Mm -hmm. Them see Stormwall always get beat. Mm -hmm. Them want to see Exorcist because yeah. them parents tell them about Exorcist. exorcist. Them get and hear about exorcist bad sound, so them see a little thing over there, sat there, then we see everything right, yes sir. You're gonna you're playing for a whole generation of sound, like you just said, who have never heard exorcist. Exorcist to them is like a myth, because you're a legend. You're a legend, you're an Antiguan legend, right? And me standing talking is a legend is an honor for me. Because I've never seen you clash live. I heard audio, I heard you and the babyface audio, the juggling the hat, that, that was madness. I heard that. But me myself. Because a lot of people think I've seen all the clubs, I haven't seen all. I was in the 90s, I missed a lot. So I'm looking forward to get catch up. I see in Shantytown, you know, I wonder, yeah. but Shantytown is this good. This is, yeah, this yeah, is for me. Are you feeling any extra pressure now because you have a whole generation of young Antiguan sound enthusiastic fans who have never seen it? Is that adding any pressure to you to perform for them? No. Not at all. Do you have any pressure on yourself besides just any kind of pressure at all? No. The only pressure me have is like, um, Kill some sound with dub. It's not. Go, it's gonna be one sound. 
Father yeah. violence. You know, because you know, you know the some, wall hey, family is hey, big. Hey. The wall is a big family. So that's why I said some. What's up? One minute. Yes, sir. So what? that's why I said some. Some. Okay. Okay. The some. whole wall. Hey. Okay. Okay. Real quick. One minute. The the, the, the word on the street. I just landed. I'm a little crazy. Mm. The word on the street is because coming a couple years ago I said I was saying it's gonna be a trio lacquer for a lacquer. Mm. But the run the word on the street now is Exodus is gonna turn over Stonewall. True or false? True. Bomber clad. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, Dian, 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 Dian. Thank you. That's that. Good luck. Don't know. See it? Right guys, thank you. See? Watch your judge, your goosebumps. You see what I'm talking about? Thank you so much. Yeah, my brother. You see it? Yeah, man. Right guys, that's it.